Creating a digital model with implant simulation is simple and straightforward. To get started, we just click on Create New Model. Now that we have our worksheet, we can immediately start building a simple model using a series of objects from the Material Flow tab. These objects will represent a basic set of operations that will make up our production environment. To start, we will create a source by selecting it from our Material Flow tab and then placing it within our worksheet. Next, we need to define some objects that will represent the work being performed within our mock production environment. To keep things simple, we will use a single procedure object or single proc. For this demo, we will use five single proc objects, three in series and two in parallel. Placement is easy. After selecting the single proc object, we can simply hold the control key, which allows us to place multiple objects in our worksheet. Now we need a drain object. This will represent our output or the products we are producing from our mock production environment. Like the previous objects, we simply select the drain from our material flow tab and place it within our worksheet like this. Finally, it is time to connect everything together and define the flow of the material through our production environment. This can be done in one of two ways. Had we placed our original objects close enough together, they would have been automatically connected. However, for this exercise, we will use the connector so that we can account for our two parallel objects better. Using the control key like before, we can choose the connector and link multiple objects together in one pass. We are almost ready to begin our simulation, but before we can, we need to create an event controller to help manage our overall processing time. So we now grab the event controller object and place it anywhere within our worksheet. Once it is placed, you can right click, select start, and you are now simulating your model. This is a very simple model that neither takes into account any kind of failure rates nor has it been set up to represent any specific period of production. In fact, by looking at the lower right corner of our screen, we can see it is still simulating as we speak. It has processed 84 days so far. But this gives you a feel for just how easy it is to get started with plant simulation. In little or no time, we have built a model and are up and running with it.